Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our paint program uh, that comes from the book Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom, uh, published by Rocks. I just want to make sure to give them credit in each one of these videos uh, to pre prevent any problems from happening. Um, I'm not claiming this is my own but I'm teaching you guys how to do it. So if you remember from the previous tutorial we created the class graphics item. So now let's go ahead and we'll come over here to paint YouTube and let's add a new class. Now if you don't know what graphics item is um, then I highly suggest you move back to the previous tutorial because it'll be really complicated if you don't know um, what it does and what's in it. And I don't have the time to explain it again in this tutorial. So we'll create another class called graphics circle now what we're going to be drawing with is a circle so when we start drawing with circles um, it's going to create a solid line so here is our graphics circle um, class if you don't want know what I mean by um, it making a solid line uh, let me show you guys real quick I'm going to pause right here and open up um, the finished product and I'll show you guys what happens when what I mean by drawing a solid line oh you can see okay so you can see here is um, my paint program and when I start drawing with the circle it draws straight lines here so I'll go ahead and close out of that I just wanted to explain to you um, what that does so we have our class graphic circle and you probably have already guessed now by now but we're gonna have it inherit from graphics item so we'll go ahead and come down here and you can see that when I press enter it automatically creates a sub draw for us. It's public override sub draw. You can see here that we made that in our graphics items class and it's must override draw. So whenever we inherit from graphics item um, it's going to go ahead and create this for us uh, once we press enter. Now when you're making programs in the future whenever you create must inherit class or must override subs um, and you inherit from a class that has those um, it's going to fill in all of those in there. So you could have like a million different subs and it's going to fill in all of those for you, all of the must override subs. So here's our draw sub and what we want to do is let's create a new brush. So we'll just call it object solid brush as new solid brush. And it defines a brush of a single color. Brushes are used to fill graphic shapes such as rectangles, ellipses, pies, polygons, and paths. Um, it cannot be inherited. That's pretty much the description of solid brush. And it's going to take one argument. We're going to need color. So we'll type me dot color. So by using the keyword me, that refers to the class graphic circle. So it's going to use the variable color from graphic circle. This will prevent uh, any errors from happening by using this right here because if we just use uh, the word color, we may get an error because that is a keyword for Visual Basic and if we have any other color um, variables uh, such as ones that are only inside subs or uh, methods or functions um, this will prevent any conflict from happening and if you're wondering where did we get color from well it's in the class graphics item it's public color of type color so now that we've created our solid brush let's go ahead and draw the circle so we'll do graphics and you can see here that graphics comes from the argument so we got draw and then for the arguments we need a graphics as of type um, system.drawings.graphics so we want to fill an ellipse now an ellipse is basically um, a circle or an oval and ovals can be warped um, in all different kinds of ways. They can be really long and skinny, really tall and skinny. Um, whatever is round is going to be an ellipse and a perfect circle would also fall under that category. So graphics dot fill ellipse and what we want to do is use object solid brush for our brush and then for the second argument our rectangle we'll type me dot rectangle. Now uh, once again this refers to the public variable rectangle that is in class graphic circle 
Now you can't see it here because it's inherited from graphics item. Um, so rectangle is given to graphics circle by graphics item, and then we can use it by typing me dot rectangle. Okay, so now that we've created our graphics item and our graphics circle classes, let's come over here to paint canvas dot vb. We'll right click it and we will select view code. So here's the code that's going to run um, inside of our paint canvas class. So inside of this, let's go ahead and create an enumeration. Now, this enumeration is going to hold the sizes, uh, the possible sizes for the circle. So we're going to have a small, a medium, and a large. So we'll type public enum um, graphics graphics sizes as integer and we'll set small equal to let's say 5 medium is going to equal 10 and then large let's make large equal to 25 so we've got our graphics sizes enumeration and let's create one more enumeration now this is going to be graphic graphics tools and we want it to be of type integer and we can't forget to put enumeration right here so public enum graphics tools as integer go ahead and hit enter and we'll set circle pin equal to zero so whenever we make a variable of type graphics tools there's only going to be one option for us and it's going to be zero which is a circle pin so this is all we're going to add um, right now in the paint canvas class. So um, we're going to be adding more in the next tutorial. And if you have any questions about our graphics circle class or the uh, anything else in this tutorial or in the paint program, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, and if you understand everything, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.